What is good, Greg Egg? We're here hanging with Steve, but we're also hanging with an underground bunker. We just took this video from zero to probably about 45 miles an hour real quick. But yeah, I got an underground bunker. Let's talk about that. It didn't come out of thin air. So let me just break it down for you. I wanted to build an underground bunker, so I bought one. Yeah, it's a pretty simple story. We had to go all the way down to Nashville to pick it up, which is about four hours away from me, but I did grab a little bit of footage. Here's what I got. Yeah, I really didn't film much. So what we really did was went to the port to where these were actually set off of a cargo ship, and then we ended up buying this one. This one is 20 foot long. The really big ones you see are 40 foot. But to be honest, guys, we couldn't handle a 40 foot because that is absolutely massive. And where I live, which is in the middle of nowhere, on top of a mountain, it's nearly impossible to even get it up here, even with a helicopter, which was never an option anyway. But without further ado, boys, let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. It's guaranteed sealed for up to five years. Kind of isn't really that long, but hopefully it stays sealed for long. It ain't easy to open up either, I can tell you that. These doors are heavy. <laughs> Walking into it, we got a lot of space, we got a lot of echoes. I may have to set up a studio in here. This audio is amazing. But I mean, I guess what do you expect from a giant metal box? One thing I really like about it is it has those hooks all around it, so I think that's gonna be a really easy place to set up hammocks. That's how we're gonna end up sleeping in here. Plus, it's got a ton of floor space, so we can also do a lot of cool stuff like that. So, Kendall Dude, what are you planning on using that for? Are the Russians looking for you? Short answer, yes. But that's not what the bunker's for. I wanted to build a bunker just in case something goes bad wrong okay tension with china is rising every day tension with russia is rising every day basically tension with half the world's rising every day but anyway what if there's zombies what if my mom gets mad at me and i need to run away somewhere this is that somewhere <laughs> it's gonna be buried nobody's gonna know where it is except the hundreds of thousands of people who watch this video so yeah i'm gonna be hidden and no one will be able to find me and on top of all that this is gonna be an absolutely epic hangout spot as you can imagine just straight up burying an underground bunker isn't really that easy so we do have some big equipment there there's a giant excavator that's used to uh kind of self-explanatory dig the hole it goes in but there's also a couple different designs you could do it like this which is like completely underground and really complicated or you can do something like this which is what we're going to go off of instead of burying it completely and having a top hatch and all that we're going to kind of make it inside of the hill with just the door showing as for location we're going to put it right here in this bank it's still going to be underground a lot so it can i don't know survive a nuke Probably not, but maybe. But the good thing about this place is there's gonna be goats and maybe a horse or something. That can clean it up. That way it's not super brushy and that ticks aren't really bad. Plus with it hanging out of this bank, we're gonna have all that flat ground to kind of like set up a base camp. And set up a fire because you can't light a fire inside that because you'll smoke yourself out and you'll die immediately. <laughs> Steve, Steve, what are you doing? You're, you're playing with a piece of bark. Come on, get a little bit civilized, buddy. Steve's getting big, guys. Here he is compared to my croc. Now, very shortly, we're going to start burying but it. But first, I want to show you a few other things that I actually bought at an auction, also in Nashville. We just picked them up while we was down there. The first thing I bought at the auction is this little mint majigger thing right here. Now, if you don't know what this is... I don't either, but I, I don't know why I bought it, I'll be honest. But it is cool, I know that much. The tires here, they're just solid rubber all around. It can pull an airplane with no problem at all. Plus, it has a smiley face, like, that, that just adds value. But we do have a problem. I was not aware of this problem when we bought it, but it runs off of enriched uranium, and I don't really know if y'all are aware, but there's actually a shortage of enriched uranium in Kentucky right now. Needless to say, probably not gonna see that thing running for a little while or until I can... You know. The second thing I bought is this right over here. I don't know if you can see it yet. It's a dueling tree. Now, this is something that you shoot at. This is rated for 22 long rifle. But without further ado, guys, let's go bury this bunker. And so now, progress has started. You can see, I don't know if y'all remember, but that was just a plain bank right there. Now, there's a pretty big good hole cut out of it, and a lot of the dirt is all around it. So, but yeah, not really sure how long this is going to take. He's only been out here for maybe, maybe 30 minutes, and he's already got that much done. So, honestly, it may not take long at all. One thing I do know is by the end of this day or the end of the video, it's going to be in the ground and covered up. That's why this video is part one. I'm pretty sure part two is going to be getting the insides worked out to where, you know, it's actually livable. As for now, we're still out here just digging the hole and making sure, you know, it sits in there and it's level and everything. That's our job right now. It is 
the next day guys we've got the hole almost dug about 50 percent of the way but instead of just dumping it in here like this we decided we're going to take some tar i don't know black tar you know like all the dinosaurs died in or something that way whenever we stick it in the ground it won't rust i think it'll be worth it long term for sure we'll crack it open right here and we'll see what we're working with i got the one that's kind of like paint so we're just going to like rub it on there with these brushes right here moment of truth here we go we'll see what the world looks like Ooh. i mean if i was a dinosaur i'd jump in it wouldn't you yeah. Put a big brush in there. We'll see how it applies. I'm not really sure how it works yet. Let's see how it works here. Yeah, it ain't too bad. Just give it a nice base layer, I guess. Kind of painted black, and I'd say it'll seal it up pretty good. Holy baloney on white bread. So as you have seen throughout this video, this is not a five hour project. This is not a one day project. This is not a two day project. This is like a two week project. And there was a lot of steps of the process. I didn't even show you guys simply because there was so much happening. And even right now, it's only 90% finished, but we have came a really long way. I'm gonna turn around and show y'all the entrance. Starting off with the block wall. Then we have the bunker gates. There it is. It goes straight into the hill right there. It's not covered up. The top is the only thing that's not finished. And of course the driveway, we're gonna make this gravel so it won't be muddy. This is gonna be a world-class bunker. Not to mention our first line of security, which is a five foot webbed fence all the way around, which is significantly gonna slow down all foot traffic and motorized vehicles. But as for the bunker, reinforced block walls, there is nothing gonna cave in this place. And you may be saying, well, Kendall, dude, what if someone tries to drill from the top? Remember, I did say 90% finish. Concrete slabs, about six inches thick all the way across. There's nothing getting in here from the top, guys. Not even a bomb. I take that back. Not even small bombs. It will be impenetrable. And we aren't even finished yet. This has become a three week process, but I tell you what guys, if worse comes to worse, it's gonna be well worth the time. And you best believe I'm vlogging every bit of it. Be looking forward to some gnarly end time vlogs, dude. As long as there's Wi-Fi, I'm gonna be posting. Oh yeah, we got the uranium cart running. Roll a clip. <laughs> It is working. It is working. Dad had a spare barrel of uranium in the basement. Who knew? Long story short, guys, Dimitri is working. And yes, we did name it Dimitri. But, uh, you know, the mule, the mule's kind of a blocked in right now, so this is my only option. Does have the smiley place that's plus 10 speed. Even though it has like zero speed to begin with, it barely gets it going at all. He rattles a lot, but you know what? That's just one of the many things that I like about him. He's loud. Like me. Now, this is where it comes down to hard times. If you gotta heal any more than like, I don't know, that, you're gonna have a hard time and you may not make it up. This one right now, you know what? We're kind of cruising. We're making ground. Originally designed for concrete floors only. I don't care, I'm taking this thing off-road and we are doing just that right now. Forget the owner's manual. I'm making my own manual for this bad boy. Oh snap, we almost got seven mile an hour right there. Dimitri. Dimitri doesn't have brakes. Probably should try to get that fixed. Hmm. Do you guys see an underground bunker? Cause I don't see an underground bunker. Do you know why you don't see an underground bunker? 
Because it's underground. That is right, guys. The underground bunker is complete, all except this time it's like 98%. We still got to put like one more brace on the inside, but that's really basic stuff. You don't really need to see that. But as for up here on top, it is completely slick now, and the bunker is about two feet, maybe three feet, right down there, and this is solid. Like I was saying the last time I talked to y'all, we put these concrete slabs right here all the way across. That way it's bomb-proof from the sky. Hopefully we don't get bombed, but you know what? If we do, bring it on. Now, of course, this right here still needs to grow in grass but that's just gonna take time and that's just basic stuff throw some grass seed out here and we'll be good to go now moving on down to the inside here's what the front looks like now we still got the walls but they're a little bit taller then we got a concrete slab on top nothing can really penetrate that at all unless it hits right here this is the only way in and the only way out unless you're elon musk and you have like a giant earth drill you could probably get in that way but elon musk isn't really our enemy so we should be good as we open up the door and we walk in this is what the inside looks like. It goes a decent way back in there. It doesn't go super far back in here. But just keep in mind, all of this is completely underground. I can put my hand right here, and it is cold. Because that's just, that's just dirt. And we did have a couple problems a couple days ago because the ceiling actually caved in. I don't know if you can see that, but it's definitely not flat. It used to be a lot worse, okay? Then we decided to put in these braces. They're wood for now, but we're gonna put a few more in and maybe even weld some stuff. That should keep it up here good and secure and everything. And now our next step's pretty simple. Just get the inside ready to live in and defend from. Basically, you know, everything that a real bomb shelter, underground bunker, storm shelter, epic hangout spot should have. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you're not already and turn on the post notifications. That way you'll know whenever part two and three maybe even four maybe six i don't know you'll know whenever they come out because the next video is actually not going to be part two because just like part one part two might take at least a couple weeks too so be sure you have the bell notifications on that way you'll know whenever it does come out as for now thanks guys for watching buy some merch if you're not already kendall gray one of shop something like this t-shirt or something to really help us pay for the bunker because you know it uh, took a lot of time and it was a really big project but listen guys you guys wanted it and it is definitely going to be worth it